We are on the last episode of season one of Blue Lock and also the moment of truth. Are they good enough to hang with the Team World 5? Or is all this shit for nothing? Only one way to find out. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive in. Let's see what the homies is up to. すごい。17歳のフランス代表軍。パスコースを探してる。あれでさ、ユブゴナスインバーウェイクスパッツ。くれ、一歩目。いきなりトップギアか。落ちないスピードとワンストライクの大きいドリブル。Your <笑> <laughs> that man even just cooked Ren. He's like, listen, you've got good foresight, but I'm fast. And they just turned it up a notch. That's crazy. Let's finish this up and hit the showers. ユブジュクチャンネルビジョンフラムラクアブエクスペリエンス Okay, maybe they get cooked after all. You are going now! Move! I've got no interest in male bodies. Yeah, I was way off. I'm like, nah, they might actually beat them. This is gonna be competitive. Like this, this, this makes all the sense in the world. Not even a chance. They are getting smoked. They are literally being baked. Play after play after play. This is rough. <laughs> I like you as a spectrum size brother. I'm gonna discourage you. That's no good. If you open your legs up easily, people are gonna think you're a loose guy. <laughs> wow, the disrespect. Don't be depressed. This is just an assessment. You know what? This might be good for Rin. Because up until now, he doesn't want to hear anything from anyone. He's the greatest. Everyone else is just a pawn in his game. They're in his way. And that man just got toyed with. So that might actually make him open up a little bit more and not be this cocky douchebag all the time. こんな<笑><笑> ブルーロックが日本を変える時が来た。テレビの向こう側の人間だと思ってた奴らと戦えて、今は世界一がリアルに感じられる気がする。お前にとっては倒すべき対等な存在なんだ。リン。俺はお前の一番近くでお前を超えて世界一になる。I <笑> <laughs> Yo, 
Springs. I'm sorry that you're so surly. Give your arms a shavy shavy. That's wild. This is the most energy we've seen from Rin yet. So we get to see who else actually made it. So if we had to go back and look at the, the, the picture from right to left, obviously we're not going to count Asagi because we know he's there and we know Bashir is there. The guy on the far right, he's probably gone. Was this Kunigami? I think this was. I feel like he's probably still going to be there. I don't think the guy right next to him is going to be there. I don't think this dude down here is going to be there. I think Chigori will be there. My man, what's his name? Raichi? I think his name was Raichi. AKA Inosuke. I think he's going to be there. I don't think the guy at the end that played goalie all the time is going to be there. And I think the dude down below with the white and black hair will potentially be there as well. I think one, two, three, four. I think four people outside of Asagi and Bashira from that original team will be there. I do think Baru will be there and Nagi for sure. Mureya will be there. Whoo, Nagi, Baru, Chigari. Tsurugi and Kiora. Okay, the man with the glasses I know. Kiora, I'm not super familiar with. I assume it's this person in between Baru and Nagi. But the guy with the glasses is fast. So that's interesting to have him and Shigari on the same team. What? <laughs> <laughs> This one's gonna be Rayo. Ooh, maybe not. Who is this? Some new faces. He calls them schmoes. They're showing a lot of people that I have never seen before, but I feel like by the end we're gonna see Rayo, right? There's no way that they didn't come through at all. Oh, shut the fuck up. Wait, did they say that they took on the World Five? Oh, so everybody took on the World 5. Interesting. My man. There he is. There's only three of them. There's two in the back, though. There he is. That's all. Kunigami. Oi, Leo. Nande is so janaindo. No. Maketanda. Sunday Orega Erabaret. I saw Sekaich no Storaika in a Ningen Janakata. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it, it's meant to be such a bigger moment that it's like, yo, Kunigami didn't make it. Everybody else we wanted is here, but he's the only one. I just don't really care. I, I don't, I like, I get it because he was there and we grew with him a little bit as a character, but not enough for me to actually feel some type of way about him not being here. I would have felt differently if like Rayo didn't make it, which even then wouldn't have been the biggest deal, mostly just because Nagi wants to see him here that I would have cared about it. And then obviously like Raichi, I thought was cool just because it's, it's the same voice actor as Inosuke. But again, not the biggest deal if he didn't make it. It was more so like just his main team. Chigori. Baru, like those guys are really the only ones that I, I actually cared about 
you know, keeping around. <laughs> I like this guy, Bashira. He said, You got a problem. Let's take this outside, bitch. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think 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 that's pretty Okay, so this is interesting. I like that they've added this element to it, right? Because it makes it way more intriguing. It's not just, hey, we're going through Blue Lock to try to find out who's the best, so on and so forth. Now it's like the, the, the big wigs of Japanese soccer want to shut this shit down so there is a challenge you guys take on the under 20s japanese soccer team if you win we're good if you lose you're the laughing stock of japanese soccer so balls in your guys's court i helped you guys get to this point we built you up we got some of the best of the best now you guys got to prove yourself if we're going to continue this thing <laughs> So if I'm not mistaken, he said 11 at one point, right? If I'm not, if I'm not wrong. So only 11 of these 35 are going to end up playing against them. If that's the understanding that I have. This next season is going to be crazy. So I'm curious how they determine what 11. Does it mean that they have to, we, we, like... What is the word I'm looking for? I was going to say wheedle, whittle. That's not the word I'm looking for, though. Do they have to, like, basically, do they have to get themselves down to 11? Do the rest of them get eliminated, or they just find the 11 that they want to go against this team? Or does this team play against them multiple times? They have a few different 11-player teams. I assume that that's not the case, because that wouldn't be that fair. We'll have to see. We'll have to see next season. Today was a shit day for me, reaction-wise. I just feel like I'm, I've zoned... I mean, it's probably because I'm also really enjoying the show, but I feel like I'm zoning in on the show so much that I'm not giving any dialogue. I'm not giving any, like, responses to different things that are happening in the moment. I'm just, like, I'm constantly thinking of, like, okay, what could happen next? What's going to happen here? Who's this going to... like? And I'm not, like, really putting any of these thoughts forward like I have been in some of the other episodes. I don't know. Some days I just have... It's just these days. These days happen, so... Appreciate you guys. Really looking forward to this next season. We also have the movie that came out about Nagi, which I assume is like a backstory or something like that on him, maybe a little bit more. And I have not decided yet if I'm going to go watch it in person or if I'm just going to wait for it to come out and do the reaction as a first time reaction. If I do go watch it in the movie theaters, I will still react to it when it drops on streaming platforms. I'll just let you guys know that I've already watched it and we could talk a little bit about it and maybe break it down more as we go through it, as opposed to it just being a first time watch. But I'm not sure yet because it is an hour away for me to go to the movie for it. And I, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I have anybody that even gives a shit to go. And I don't really want to go by myself. So we'll see. We'll see. But either way, appreciate you guys. Next season will be here before we know it. And I will definitely be diving into each episode every week as it drops like we usually do with a lot of different stuff. So appreciate you. Take it easy. Stay safe. I will catch you in the next one, homies. Hey, they said that I couldn't do what I'm doing. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? They tried to tell me that I wasn't made for this shit. I'm like, what were you thinking? I don't know what he was thinking. Acting like I still got something to prove. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? I've been improving. Well, you ain't been moving, my nigga. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking?